This is Mr. Ying De Song, 42 years old, one of the best Kung Fu master in China. Today I'm gonna show you a very ordinary day in his life. Master De Song lives in a two-bedroom apartment with his wife and son. His wife is responsible for sending their son to school in the morning. They left the apartment an hour ago. Chinese call Kung Fu masters like Master De Song, Shi Fu. In Chinese, the character Shi means teacher, while De Fu means father. As a Shi Fu, he not only gives his students his own skills and techniques, but also teach them the philosophy of life like a real father. Chinese people love the tea, so does Master De Song. He always drinks tea instead of breakfast. This habit is from his Shifu, who believed that drinking tea can make people have a clear mind. The tea culture has existed in China for more than 2,000 years. Even in modern China, half the population drinks tea every day. 早上好。How was your sleep last night? 嗯，非常好，六七个点吧。Why do you only drink tea every morning? 对，呃，这个叫做茶群，它是我们中国的文化，主要是有助于体内的气脉运行。After a cup of tea, Master De Song is going out for morning exercises. He has persisted in this habit for nearly thirty years. Today. His morning exercise starts with fast walking. You walk so fast, I can't keep up with you. What is the position of your hands for? It's hard for me to keep up. He walks so fast, but I know where his destination is. There is an old Chinese saying. 一年之计在于春, the whole year's work depends on good planning in spring, and the whole day's work depends on good planning in the early morning. Chinese people believed that the air in the morning is the cleanest and freshest in the day. Breathing this air can refresh your body inside and out, and keeps your mind clear throughout the day. So in China, especially the old people, morning exercises are very popular among them. What Master De Song is doing is called Da Zuo in Chinese. Sit in a certain posture and breathing the fresh air to replace the remaining air in the body from last night. He always doing this before the formal morning exercise. It's really hard to find you. Where are we going next? Uh, Three hundred years ago, Hu Mei Abbess from the Shaolin Temple in South China accidentally comprehend and invent a set of martial arts from the Battle of a Snake and Crane. This martial art was subsequently named Yong Chun, Wing Chun. Master De Song started learning Wing Chun from his Shifu when he was eight. He practiced the basic movement of Wing Chun every morning, whether it is in winter or summer, just like his Shifu told him to do. After the morning exercise, he's ready to start his day's work. Twenty years ago, after Master De Song learned most of his skills and techniques from his Shifu, 
he started his own Wing Chun school. Since then, he challenged everywhere and established his reputation. Nearly 10,000s of people have learned Wing Chun from him. There are also many foreign students among them, and Master De Song supports some of them open their own Wing Chun school abroad. The first job in the morning for Master De Song is cleaning and packing before all the students arrive. This habit was also taught to him by his shifu. He's been doing it for 20 years. His student, who is also his teaching assistant, will help to prepare for the class. Afterwards, Master De Song come to the door to welcome his students, and he takes great care to maintain his relationship with the students' parents. Now they are learning how to salute. It's called Bao Quan Li. Students need to salute teachers, show respect and gratitude before the class begin. In the morning, lessons are designed for kids. The main content is the basic training of Wing Chun. Physical fitness and flexibility are very important to them. In fact, it is very difficult for these lively children to calm down. However, Master De Song seems to have his own unique method. The first and most important form in Wing Chun is called Xiangyantong, which means the little idea for beginning. It is the foundation or seed of the Wing Chun on which all succeeding forms and techniques are based. For new students, the study of Xiangyantong lasts from six months to four years. After basic training, the next lesson is called cruel battlefield practice. Like many countries in the world, China also has a relatively serious problem of school bullying. Master De Song believes that the key to solving the problem of school bullying is to let students have the ability to protect themselves. Not only martial arts skills, but more importantly, courage. So his school organizes practical combat activities for students to build their confidence. Are you afraid? The morning class is over. As a reward for serious study, they get a card from the teacher. After accumulating a certain amount, it can be exchanged for prizes. It's time for a break, but not Master De Song. He is being challenged by the students. 
with Xiangqi. A chess game represents a battle between two armies in China. There is an old saying in China, Yi Cha Hui Yong. Making friends with tea means that it is best to make friends while drinking tea. Over the past 20 years, Master De Song has become friends with the parents of many students, and he has also gained a lot from them. How long has your child been learning Wing Chun? Why do you want your kids to learn Wing Chun? 因为呃徐呃徐永春不但可以强身健体，再一个那个因为因为我家是女孩，同时呢我还希望她有一个保护自己的能力。练这个咏春拳哈，特别适合女孩子女孩子来练，特别适合这种小巧精练、精练呐、啊、短短打这种，特别适合女孩子练。After the students in the morning left, Master De Song had some time to eat. Master De Song eats lunch prepared by his wife almost every day. China has the largest food delivery market in the world. There are nearly 30 million people working as a food delivery man, and more than 80% of Chinese people have the habit of ordering food delivery. But Master De Song still insists on bringing his own lunch at noon every day. Maybe it's because of his wife's request. Although he looks the oldest, in fact he is the youngest student, so he is responsible for pouring tea for everyone. How heavy are these two iron balls? What are those used for? After lunch, Master De Song is going to do some social media work. He wants to spread his idea of Wing Chun to more and more people. So he creates a TikTok account and promotes the philosophy and skill of martial arts on the internet. And he wants more people to know and recognize Wing Chun. He also wants to spread Chinese culture to the world. Not only that, Master De Song has also been invited by the police department and the army to guide them in fighting techniques. And there are some flags they sent to show their gratitude and respect. Students come one by one. It's time for classes again. But the afternoon classes are designed for adults.
And when Master De Song came home, it was almost 10 o'clock in the evening. His son is in junior high school. In China, junior high school students usually leave school at 9, but in high school, this time will become 11. Every day after school, he has to practice Wing Chun. Master De Song insists put some traditional Chinese values and philosophy in his son's education. So he started to give his son some guidance of Wing Chun long time ago. He wants his son get in touch with more and more Chinese culture. In China, many families with a son were willing to sacrifice to educate that child in the hope that he can bring in honor and wealth to the family. There is an old Chinese saying, 子承父业, that a son should inherit his father's business. Does Master De Song want his son to inherit his Wing Chun school or not? Is there anything you want to do when you grow up? Master De Song is drinking tea now. I have more questions to ask him. How can a person be strong and powerful, and no one can beat him? <laughs> what does the person who studies martial arts actually pursue? What does the word Zen mean exactly? In here?